Okay, God, so I understand that this is my message and I need to grow more and I need to live into that message and experience the reality of that message. But how it still doesn't take away the fact that it's hard and difficult and uncomfortable. Like how, how? Jennifer, <laughs> that's what you're uncovering. That's what you're working out. That's what you're dealing with is the how. You see, it's fun in the beginning, right, Jennifer? It's the initial new car smell. It's the new thing you're doing. It's fun. It's exciting. It's new. <laughs> it was fun when Noah started building the ark. It was great. What about months into it? <laughs> I need you to think about Moses. Building my tabernacle was great days, weeks into it. But there was so much detail in it. What happened? Months into it, Nehemiah, think about him building the wall, Jennifer. And all the opposition and all that he came against, do you think it got old? One of your problems, Jennifer, is that when the new car smells, wears off, you're over it. You're done. You want to move on to something else. I need to break that off of you. You see, when I bring you into ministry, you are going to have people depending on you. You are going to have organizations that rely on you. You're going to have things that need you. And Jennifer, what happens months into it? when it becomes routine, when it becomes known, where even the new things become expected to where that land is conquered. Will you stay with it? Will you stick with it? Will you commit to it? When it doesn't do it for you anymore? Will you maintain? This is what we're working through right now. Know your message. There's not a moment that will ever be wasted with me and you, Jennifer. You've given your life to me. Know that I value that, that I honor that, that I delight in that, and I will not waste your time. I will not waste your life. What are we learning in this moment? <laughs> you're exactly where I want you to be, Jennifer. You're bored. You're tired. You're over it. <laughs> I know this is where I want you. Will you stay? Will you remain? Will you still give a thousand percent to it? Will you still honor it? Will you still put your all into it? Will you not give up? Will you not turn away because it no longer excites you? You have to know this about yourself. I have gifted you. With various gifts of administration, 
You know how to lead, you know how to organize, you know how to conquer, you get it. Your mantle as an apostle, I can send you, you could set up, you can establish, you can do it. What I have trained you in as far as character, I built work ethic in you. I built tenacity. I built grit in you. I have hardened you in areas which you need to be hardened and soften you in areas that need to be softened. I've done a great work in you, Jennifer. You have to know that. And this is why you have to know that. Because... It is an inevitable that you become bored. It's inevitable that you tire. It is inevitable that things get old and that you wear out. Because you put the puzzle together so quickly because I've gifted you and trained you to do so. That you put the puzzle together, you marvel in it, and then what? You put another puzzle together, you marvel in it, and then what? You put another puzzle, you marvel in it, and then what? So even the new puzzles I give you, you already know how to put together the puzzles. Do you understand? You must be able to learn to navigate the boring what's not exciting, the old, the tiring. You must learn how to still find life in that, how to still find me in that, how to live in that. Do you understand? Yes, God. How? You have to know that that's a part of it and that that's okay. You have to learn that it's not the end of the world, that you don't have (laughs) to be excited. You don't have to be moved. Things don't have to be riveting because Jennifer, it's become an idol for you, the new, the exciting the challenge I need you to just be right now we are working in that area Jennifer just be rest be still be content be okay if you don't learn this You will always leave. You will always walk away. You will always run after you figured it out, after you've conquered, after things become routine, after things become old, and you cannot. I'm calling you to establish, to lay roots, to gain a firm foundation. I need you to stay and remain throughout all phases of whatever it is I bring to you. We need staying power in this season. We need commitment. We need dedication through the hard, through the difficult, through the boring, through the routine, through it all. That's what I'm teaching you. Learn the lesson, Jennifer. This is another aspect of your message, right? Seek God for what he's doing in your life. And he will let you know. Well, Jennifer, this is what we're doing. (laughs) How do you feel? I feel relieved. I feel better now that I know. I understand. I get it. And now I have my smile back on my face. I have my joy. I'm happy and I'm ready to move forward with you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too.